Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day. From the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for May the 27th of 2020, well, it is titled Earth and Moon Through Saturn's Rings. So, what do we see here? Well, this is an image taken by the Cassini spacecraft, which orbited Saturn for over a decade and studied in detail the ringed planet. And in 2017, when it finally was running out of fuel, it was directed into the planet and actually was vaporized in Saturn's atmosphere. So, it no longer exists as a spacecraft. However, we still have images to study, and many of the images that it have taken study the planet of Saturn, its moons, and its rings. So here we see an image of those rings, and we can see all the detail within the rings. There are some gaps there. A very distinct gap is the Enki gap on the far right-hand side, very much wider gap off to the right, and then a very narrow gap, uh, which is known as the Keeler Gap, uh, much uh, further towards the center of the image. Now, we can also see all sorts of structures within the rings. They are not just smooth, but there are lighter and darker areas. Darker areas with fewer ring particles and lighter areas with more ring particles in them. So there's a lot of structure within the rings, which is caused by Saturn's moons. Saturn's moons interact with the ring particles gravitationally and will adjust their orbits. And certain range areas are going to be very unlikely to have ring particles, whereas others will have concentrations of ring particles, which is kind of what we're seeing here. Now, we also see two other objects here, which are the Earth and the Earth's moon. So those are present as well. So looking back at these from the distance of Saturn, Saturn being about 10 astronomical units away from the sun, and therefore between about 9 and 11 astronomical units away from the Earth, depending on where it is in its orbit, we're looking back and we see just the tiny dot that is our own planet and the even tinier dot that, rep that is our moon. So quite tiny, extremely small from that distance, looking back at our planet and all of us and everything that we know. So in a way, it helps us to put everything into perspective and as to how small of a portion of the universe we actually occupy. Whereas here, going out just a small distance within our own solar system and looking back at our tiny little Earth there. And if we think about it, the furthest we have traveled in, in manned flight is from the Earth to the moon, and that is it. So we have barely, in fact, even an unmanned flight, we have barely traveled outside of our own solar system with the most distant craft, barely making it to the edge of our sun's influence and reaching out into interstellar space, but still being uh, thousands and thousands of years from getting to the distance, uh, reaching the distance of even the nearest star. So that was our picture of the day for May the 27th of 2020. It was titled Earth and Moon Through Saturn's Rings. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.